been a while and I uh, just wanted to basically share this very short brief uh, topic on love. Uh, we asked ourselves why are we lacking love, how can we feel love in the church and so forth and love amongst one another. I was going to share it quickly, a uh, verse probably we're all familiar with, uh, elaborate on these key verses to help us. Yeah, in order to help to help get us, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, in order for us to, mm, okay, yeah, so in order for us to get on track, amen, are you saying amen, Matthew? Okay. I was going to quickly pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies. And as we share a little short uh, on love, I ask that you fill us with your Holy Spirit and have a better understanding of you. In Jesus' name, amen. This is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. And we'll read. But also, for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control or temperance, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. And so, um, we always ask the question, y'all, how come there's a lack of love in the church, or how come there's a lack of love, uh, unity, or amongst one another? And if we look here, this is a ladder. It's a step. It steps to Christ, actually. Biblically, steps to Christ. Uh, if we look here, uh, the first, first, first thing we see. What do we see as a first term in verse five? We see giving all diligence add to your faith virtue. And virtue, by definition, is moral excellence. Uh, for example, we think of Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman. And woman in the Bible represents the church um, as well. But what's most important here, we see, um, add to your faith, virtue. So, what does Romans 10 verse 17 say? It says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So how do we add faith? By hearing of the word of God. Okay? Um, so when we add this faith, and no matter how little, remember Jesus said, if you have faith as little as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So it doesn't matter how big or how small your faith is, it just takes a little seed. And that seed is the word of God implanted in the heart, and that's how faith grows or springs fruit. <laughs> yeah, amen. So here we see, add to faith virtue, then after virtue, what's the next term we see? knowledge. Uh, so when we acquire moral excellence through faith by hearing the Word of God, we will then uh, increase in knowledge. Uh, now we, we think of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 where it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom or the beginning of knowledge, right? Um, knowledge is not just to know, it's one thing to know, it's another to apply. Just like when we go to school, you know, we learn, we learn, but it is of no avail if we don't apply what we learned. Since we, we know better, right? Um, then we have self-control. Or temperance. Te temperance, by definition, is abstaining things that are not good for us and see, in moderation the things that are good for us, right? This is temperance. Um, so to self-control, once we know better, we require the knowledge of God um, through the Spirit, we will have, yeah, and after self-control or temperance, it says perseverance. So, of course, it takes a lot of perseverance, right, in order to have self-control and maintain that self-control. And only through the Holy Spirit can we maintain that self-control. And then the following we see here is, after perseverance is godliness. So when we persevere in trials or all things, you know, they say when we're temperate, you know that there's a powerful thing where there's a link between diet, spirituality, and the mind. Um, there's a great link, so when we're temperate, not only what we eat, but what we do, and everything like that, um, that all plays a major role in balance. Not a form of godliness, but the true godliness through Christ Jesus. Then uh, we see brotherly kindness manifested. 
Um, it's not something that can happen overnight, and it's a process. I have brotherly kindness and love. So after brotherly kindness, it's love. In verse 8, it says here, For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, in verse 9 it says, For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness, and has forgotten that he has purged from his old sins. Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble, or you will never fall. So, an encouragement to us in Jude 20, 25, which is one of my favorite verses where it says, To him that is able to keep you from falling or stumbling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, a uh, beautiful scripture, uh, but the key thing is he is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless. So may God help us to have an abiding relationship with Jesus Christ so that we um, can have truly his spirit manifested in us and through these steps to Christ that we truly will get to see him face to face and be blameless. So may God bless you and... Until next time, take care and God bless.